if we wanted to just explore what's going on with Sally Mitchell, who is from Mortgage Mum, she's been giving her reaction to our news reporter, Catherine Bett. Well, I was actually very pleased because I think what you know everybody needs is a little bit of a breather, you know, a little bit of respite from the roller coaster of having 14 increases in a row. Um, you know, back to school, um, back off school holidays, summer holidays, and it's it's very, very welcome. I know that the clients that I deal with are breathing a sigh of relief and thinking, you know, maybe, just maybe this is the start of things getting slightly more back to normal. Who knows? But that's what they hope. <laughs> well, yeah. Is it, is it ever possible to predict these kind of things? No, it really isn't. I and mean, I think one thing that everybody is... Um, uh, unanimous on is that this is this is not the end. You know, we can expect further increases as we move forward towards the end of this year. Um, it's a nice little reprieve. It's a nice let's take stock. I think they'll wait and see what happens to inflation in the next month or so, and then react accordingly. I mean, they don't want to over egg the pudding, so to speak, because there is a danger that if you keep interest rates very high, then, you know, you could go into recession, which we do not want. But the target is still to reduce inflation down to supposedly 2%. I can't see that happening anytime soon, but that's the aim. Um, and to do that, you know, they're using uh, manipulating interest rates. So I think we will see a, a further increase somewhere down the line. But at the moment, it gives us some breathing space. So you mentioned your clients breathing a sigh of relief. How is this news going to affect the two million people coming off fixed rate mortgages? Well, it just gives a little bit of, of hope, as I say. You know, the last few weeks we have seen um, rates coming down, fixed rates coming down. That is mainly because swap rates are um, descending, which is great news. That's that's how they, um, they they work out. They price their fixed rates, the lenders, mainly on, on the swap rates. And they're coming down. They're in a, a downward trajectory. So, We've already seen some benefit of that. And since the um, rate announcement today, I've had at least two lenders, big lenders, um, contact me to say, well, not me personally, but, you know, contact the market, <laughs> other brokers as well. I don't have a, a telephone to the uh, to the, the big five um, exclusively. But to say, you know, because of this announcement, we are actually announcing that our fixed rates will be reducing in the next two days, two days' time, by up to 0.3%. So this is great news. You know, the average fixed rate has been coming down in the last few weeks. And it looks like if we look at the beginning of next week, we'll see that come down even further. So if you're looking to change your mortgage, you know, if your remortgage is coming up, your fixed rate is coming to an end, it does look like you, know, you should be able to get a better rate, certainly than you would have done a couple of months ago, which you know, we're going in the right direction. Of course, it's, it's, not, it's not cheap still, but we're going in the right direction. No, not at all. Does, does anybody lose out from this uh, information today? Not, no, not really. I mean, if it had gone up again, if it had gone up to 5.5, then that would automatically affect anybody with a mortgage who's on a standard variable rate or a tracker rate. Um, tracker rates particularly would, would you know, follow that, that rate increase pretty much immediately. And of course, if you have a credit card or a car loan, or if you're looking to take out one of those, then yes, that would affect you, definitely. But... Um, with it staying the same, actually, you know, it's it's pretty good news. Um, the only thing, I suppose, is if you've got savings and the rate hasn't changed, then you you won't be getting um, an increase on your interest on your savings. But then, not that many people have an awful lot of savings anymore at the moment. No, they don't. And I guess people need to really keep a beady eye on the future announcements from the Bank of England then, and, and what they choose to do next. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I always say, I mean, if you're coming off, coming to the end of your fixed rate, then you don't actually have, you know, an awful lot of choice. You can try and pick the best time, and you can monitor with your broker the market, and you know, make further changes to to the products that you choose to go on to, depending on what happens in the market. But if you're a first time buyer or you're looking to move, you know, quite often those things are driven by circumstances outside of your control you know, it might be downsizing it might be uh, you're having extending your family it might be that you have to move for work so for people in that situation then you know 
you can't really wait for for what you think is going to be the best time to take out a mortgage. It's driven by other factors. And I think the key thing is affordability. Try not to concentrate too much on the number of the rate, whether it's a six, a five, a four. It's whether you can afford it. Some good advice there from Sally Mitchell, who's having a natter with our reporter, Catherine Bett. Uh, Did anyone else notice the dog? (laughs) He's trying to get into the interview as well. I'm surprised you didn't say, is the dog all right? (laughs) More music on the way then. Let's get into some take that. 